Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I have got an extra unexpected, exciting little parcel to share with you today. I'm not going to be sharing it at all. I'm going to be keeping it all myself. <laughs> but I thought you might enjoy a little peek. So uh, my regular viewers will know for sure that I'm a huge fan of Bazaar. They're an amazing company. They work with people in India. Um, and they, I love all of the stuff that they bring over and sell. I love the their ethics, the way they work, and they're just lovely to deal with. And I met Joe, the owner. They had a stall down at the Alexandra Palace. Must have been a knitting and stitching show, I think, a, a, a couple of years back. Bought some of their amazing scrap bags, which I think they should call treasure bags. And uh, got home, loved them so much, straight away ordered some more. <laughs> Never looked back, basically. Anyway, I've been raving about them on this channel quite a few times. And I had a chat with Jo and she agreed to sort out a code, well, like a message. If you make an order from Bazaar, at the end, if you put a message to the seller, arty farty Annie treat, I'll put it up here as well to be sure, arty farty Annie treat, um, they will put in a little extra something for you. It could be anything, they don't have massive amounts of any one thing, so it would depend on what they've got and what you order and what calls them in the moment. Um, but I've been having some lovely feedback, um, and lots of my um, viewers and online friends had ordered from them and got the little treats and had given me good feedback. So I just messaged Joe the other day just to say, oh, you know, thanks for sorting that. Oh, it's really nice to get a little extra something, and everybody's really enjoying the packages. Anyway, so then. I got this parcel with a with a thank you card <laughs> and um, absolutely blew me away. I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm not, you know, I'm not in any way um, sponsored by, by Bazaar or affiliated with them. They haven't asked me to say nice things. I just genuinely think they're absolutely brilliant. So this parcel came today. I opened it up, not knowing what it was. <laughs> And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to wait till I get home again and record this because you're going to want to see this. Right, let me uh, let me show you. In a, in a minute, uh, don't let me forget, I will have a quick look. I'll just quickly show you the Bazaar website um, so that you can see what I'm, I'm talking about. I'll put links to their website below. Also a reminder about that little message so you can, you can get a little, get your little treat if you make an order. Now, first of all, when you get these, when you buy anything from them, I think I've, I've only really, I have had some extra bits, but I've, I don't know if it's only the scrap bags that come in these or if they put everything in these bags. I don't know, actually. I sometimes have a couple of other little extra bits and pieces as well as scrap bags. But but they, they come in these beautiful sari bags and this is an especially gorgeous one. Look at it. <laughs> I love this. I mean, I'd wear that if I could. I could, I, I could, I could turn it into a top if I wasn't so fat. <laughs> well, that's the size I used to be. I could have made that into a top. I know. Okay, I'm going to um, just get rid of this rustly bit. Um, I have said before when I've opened these, I, I asked Joe about this because they're very um, uh, ecologically sandy. They're as sustainable as they can be. And um, so the plastic feels a bit, mm, but apparently the plastic bags are recycled they cut plastic down as much as they can joe hates plastic as much as i do which is quite a lot <laughs> and they ask you to keep reusing them as much as you can but sometimes there's just no way around it because of the process and the way they have to store things and, and what have you lovely card handmade card from joe this lovely mulberry but that'll all get used again as well obviously <laughs> Thank you very much. Everyone loves our scrap bags. <laughs> We're busy making more and I'm off to India tonight just for a month. <laughs> Team Bazaar will be at the Stitch Festival Business Design Centre next week. I wish I could get there. Was that in Birmingham? I wonder if I can. These scrap bags are for you. I'm blown with that she really didn't need to, to do it. I feel, I feel guilty. <laughs> I feel kind of guilty but very, very happy. But guilty, do you know what I mean? Like I'm getting something for nothing. But, oh, <laughs> I mean, they vary the scrap bags. I always love them. Some some I love more than others. That's got to be one of my favourite ever sorry bags. So, um, the whole time I've been buying the scrap bags, they've been £12.50. They've obviously now gone up. They're 14 50 But I would say still worth every penny. When you compare this to the amount you pay to go and buy... Well, you couldn't buy. It's a unique assortment of <laughs> bits and pieces. But if you could... Imagine what you'd, what you'd pay for the equivalent in fat quarters and, and uh, trimmings and things. You know, it's, yeah. 
so all of these are a bit i'm so I'm a bit overexcited i'm all over the place um all of these fabrics and bits and pieces in these scrap bags come are reclaimed from garments that would otherwise be wastage um, and end up in landfill or, or whatever. It'll be a mixture of fabrics, it, it, mostly natural fabrics, but some synthetics, but not many synthetics and the kind of nice ones, if you know what I mean. But mostly silks and cotton, some linens, your know, bits of wool, some heavier than others. Just a, yeah, just imagine Indian clothes. And so what I'm going to do is, it looks like I've got a green pack. They come in five colourways, green, pink, red, blue and black. I think it looks like I've got a green one and a pink one which are my favorites anyway I think if I had to choose oh, I mean that just looks luscious okay let's put this one out of the way I'll put that bag there I'll find another use for that um so here we go so I'm sure this is a green pack obviously not everything in the pack is going to be green but it's kind of all coordinating <laughs> So as well as the pieces of fabric, you get the odd trimmings and stuff that have been rescued as well. I mean, here we've got a couple of zips. I've never had zips before, three zips. And I do use zips not just as zips, but I do sometimes use them as kind of decorative embellishments kind of thing. But definitely I could work them into um, a journal covers and things like that, couldn't I? Okay, so we've got a little cute doodads. There's this nice little bag I can keep as a gift bag. It looks unused, isn't it? So I, can, I will keep that as a gift bag. Lovely pieces. And the team put these together. Um, I think Joe said to me at one point, they can tell looking at the, but they watched one of my unbaggings oh, oh, like months and months ago that I did. And they could tell by looking at them who had made up which bags, because obviously they've got a certain style. Um, and they just go, go with their heart kind of thing as to, to how much to put in. It must be, oh, what a what a job, I'd love to do it. I'm sure, I'm sure maybe they get tired of it sometimes. I don't know, it'd take me a while. I could do this job for quite a while before getting bored of it. Beautiful pieces. This is really gold, isn't it? Lots of gold here, which looks fabulous with the green. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm seeing the, like a really fabulous bag or journal cover. Look at the peacock. I love these pieces. I've got some other hoarded pieces. <laughs> I've had previous bags that I've had. Um, I've got a couple of these here. <laughs> this one actually has got an A. <laughs> a for Annie. I love them. I need to find a useful one though, don't I? Rather than just take them out and look at them every so often and put them away again. Oh, this is, I'm, in, I'm in my element now. Look at these beautiful pieces. Let's give you a bit of a closer look at, at them. I love how that's, it's metallic and it's got a twinkle, but it's quite subtle, isn't it, actually? Danglers. Always love these little doodads. What are these? Oh, fabulous buttons. Oh, see, do I go bag or waistcoat or something? Oh, so now there's a bundle of, there's a bundle of, oh, look at this. Look at all the stitching, hand stitching. Oh, that's going to be incorporated into a journal wrap or something. Beautiful. And this is silk. Quite a big piece, actually. Silk scrunches up to nothing, doesn't it? But it a Diane was saying she she bought a pack, a pack recently, a scrap pack, and um, she wasn't sure about the silk, I think, because silk is quite flimsy, isn't it? So, you, so if you want to do something, and I love the quality of silk, I love the how soft and fine it is. But if it's too soft and fine to do what you want with, try it. Sometimes what I've done is... Um, layer it up with some of the cottons that also come in the pack just layer them up and it'll give them a bit more stability so you still get that lovely kind of silky sheen and you get the glorious colors of some of these silks but layered over a cotton that would just make it a little bit easier to, to manage absolutely but this is this is going to be one of my favorite ever it's another one of these buttons look oh do you think i should make a waistcoat or something let's see what else we've got in here Maybe I should see what I can do with one scrap bag. Hmm. Oh, what's this? They put, I had some little fish shaped pearl buttons in a, in a little pot like this once. Mirrors for doing like shisha work, which I, I really enjoy. So I've got, I've got five round mirrors there. 
I'll tell you what, I'm starting to wonder if I could make a really amazing waistcoat just to go over a top like the one I've got on when you just want another layer. Mm. Oh, elephant! I love elephants! And have a little flower. I had another one like that, didn't I? Where's it gone? I've lost it. Look at this piece. How beautiful is that? So let's, um, somebody's wrapped these up beautifully. Look at the colours. Oh, oh, I had a piece of this one before. Right, I'm going to have to just mess this all up, aren't I? Uh, so this is a really good example of the different mixture of things you get. So that's quite a sort of, um, quite a coarsely woven cotton. So it's quite a thick material, quite sturdy. Love those colours in the pattern. And then you'll get pieces, you can very much see that they've come from garments, can't you? You'll get pieces of just plain, quite ordinary cotton like that. That's actually two layers there. But you do need some of that as well. That's another piece of that, quite a big piece. I'm thinking I could actually make a waistcoat by layering it up using this plain cotton as the, as the base. I wonder if I could make a little kind of bolero type thing out of it. And they just apply all these beautiful pieces. Oh, I've had a piece of this before as well. Love this. Now, I know from before that, yeah, my camera doesn't doesn't come up the right colour. I don't know if it's my camera or the lighting. It's a much deeper leafy green than it looks on camera. I bet this is... Oh, no, that's coming up quite well, actually. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you see? It's like it changes gold green gold green how beautiful there are so many things you can do with these gorgeous fabrics this one's sheer so this is so this is a synthetic but it's a really beautiful synthetic and what i like it what i like is when you layer it over something else so if you layered it over say layer it over that so the other color shows through i think that's lovely Last time, last time I opened my packs, all I could think was art dolls, art dolls, art dolls. And I've ended up making a lot of journal wraps and things. <laughs> I haven't got around to it. I love this kind of thing as well. Where you get this sort of slubby fabric. So that looks like factory based or something rather than actually cut from a garment. Sometimes I think Joe said it's it's stuff that they've got that they have for sale, but it kind of gets damaged because it's been on display and that sort of thing, or or they've uh, worn it to demonstrate, and you know, rather than chuck it, they turn it into scrap bags. Here's a beautiful quilted piece. So that's several layers with lots of lines of stitching. I'm assume I think that's machine stitching this time. Yeah. Um, but what a lovely base for lots of slow stitching projects that would be. Another kind of quilted looking piece. Oh, it just gives you that lovely bit of kind of substance, lovely bit of texture and background. Oh, I just, I can't, I, every time I open one of these packs, I'm just so inspired. This piece looks a bit grubby like it's been through the, through the wars. Doesn't that smell horrible though? Like it's got wet or something, but it's yeah, it doesn't smell foisty or anything. Foisty, as we say in Norfolk. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter for what I'll be doing with it. Now, what is this piece? It's got this red and green on the back, like Christmas red and green on it. Is it? Oh, look! Wow! Oh my word! Look, will you look? at the work in there, we don't need that piece. <laughs> Look at all the little... So that, that's got to all be hand stitched and sequined. Look at those, rows and rows of those little metal sequins. And it's all been patched together and then there's this like bundles of fine cotton thread all couched down between the patches. Oh. Let's see, a bag, it would make a lovely bag, wouldn't it? I need to have give a lot of thought to this. Oh, look. So that is the green. Absolutely 
gorgeous and I tell you what you see on the screen does not accurately show you how gorgeous this all looks because my I, my, it, my camera just does not pick up the colours so even though they've obviously now gone up a couple of quid £14.50 I'm well <laughs> I've, I've just I mean I've been sent it as a gift which is I'm just I bet if I had bought it for £14.50 I'd be filled to bits with it so before we look at the second one um, let's just have a quick look at, at the Bazaar website, which I, I will leave a link to. So here we go. Here's, um, here's their kind of home page. You can see here, this is all about what they, what they do, their craft fairs, and there's, you can see Joe in the middle there. Here's some of the people they work with in India. It's a lovely, smiley, colourful pictures. I love all those colours. My mum was part Indian and she had a her dream come true trip over there, trip of a lifetime. I managed to squeeze and think they were there for six weeks and so she managed to see a lot of different parts of India. Beautiful things there. There's Jo again. <laughs> so there's a lot of information here about the kind of things they do um, as they're fair trade statement um show day it's a i'd love to get to the um suffolk show this summer where's west Malling? kent oh i might be able to get to that anyway um so if we go to the shop there's all kinds of things have a have a good old look as it says there enter code bizarre free postage at the checkout for free postage on orders over 30 pounds i forgot that the first time um but they do very kindly give me a little um a little couple extra treats to make up for it um, which is really sweet of them so if you go to the shop and then go down to if you want to find the scrap bags you need to go to crafts go down to crafts and here we go here's the scrap bags they're still saying 12.50 on there maybe they're 14.50 at the shows and that's why that's labeled up as such they seem to still be £12.50 on there, so that's good. So if you want one, go, or, or several, <laughs> if you're like me, um, give one of each colour, um, I would suggest don't waste any time because it looks like they might be going up. I don't know. I don't know why that says £14.50 on there. Maybe they make some up, especially for shows, and that was one of those, and so I don't know. Uh, so we've got green, blue, pink, black, red, and purple. That's the one I missed off just now. Um, so you just choose whichever one you want from the drop down and Bob's your uncle don't forget to put a message to the seller at the end I think a little box comes up or something saying arty farty annie treat and then you've got your little extra doodad or whatever <laughs> and just I just thought I'd have this up so this is a quick look at one of the things I did with some of my previous scrap um scrap bags uh and here I'm just going, this was my boho bunting. I'm just going through showing you that I tried all sorts of different techniques and stuff. It was huge fun. I'll put the playlist to this in this in the description box as well. So you can have a look. You can see all the different oh, scrappy, uh, scrappy tassels there. I enjoyed doing them. I tried out lots of different ideas. And um, yeah, I had a, had a blast with this. I really did. And it's hanging up in my conservatory now. Otherwise I would have brought it to show you. But uh, oh look, I've got it hanging up in the background there. <laughs> You can't really see it very well. So, um, yeah, uh, check them out. Don't forget to use that little message if you do. I'm looking ever so puffy. I've got something going on with my face. It's really hot and itchy, and I can't seem to stop it. I don't know what's going on. I'm not using anything different, but it's driving me nuts, and I can see it on camera. Anyway, um, so I need to have a little break while I go and um, feed my husband, <laughs> and then come back and open the second bag. See you in a moment. Okay, let's see what we got in here. I've got it all in shot, yes. <laughs> Look at this. I don't even know what that would have been put of. It's like a little tassel, isn't it, that would have finished. Oh, I'm imagining that on a bag or something. I love it. Look at all the beading. Beautiful, it's one of those little birdies. <laughs> I was talking about them yesterday. I was making birdies during the week. <laughs> oh, I've got three birdies. Aren't they gorgeous? Maybe I could make a fantastical mobile. Put all my doodads together on it. That'd be that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Another beautiful tassel, a star, a bundle of um, 
bundle of ribbons. Oh, that's a lovely piece, actually. It's not a ribbon, it's... I don't know. What is it? What is it? I can't get it out without untying it. I don't want to untie it. My mind is buzzing with ideas. That's what always happens when you open these. Oh, I always love pom-poms. What am I going to do? Which, the, which of the many things going through my head should I do? Look at these pieces. These little flowers. I could put beads in the centre of them or sequins, couldn't I? That bunting, when I did the bunting thing, um, I've forgotten how many pieces that was now. Should be to find out. Quick look, I think I've left the playlist up. Hang on. 12. Um, 12 uh, bunting. So it came out about probably two and a half, three metres long, which is just enough to go along the end wall of my conservatory, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, I did a different uh, different video for each one, so you could check them out if you're interested. But they were just, it was just such a nice way to use all these kind of little decorative bits and pieces. I'm just thinking something that would hang up in here would be nice. Maybe a mobile or something. Or I could make myself a really fantastic bag. Or a waistcoat, or all, all three. <laughs> It'd be quite interesting to see what I could get out of one scrap pack. I love these. Now, I think I had one of these before with all the beads because it's one of the ones I've hoarded in here. Here it is. And I'm not sure I'll take that apart. I think I'll probably just wear it as it is. So I've got some beads as well, which I could string that on more of those so that's all the doodads for that one so it does vary i think with the other one perhaps there were more oh, more, yeah, perhaps more doodads but there might be more fabric with this one it varies it varies such a lot but you always get that mixture of cottons silks and different kind of weights of fabrics there's a little bit of what looks like wool here so let's get into this one always love these patched together ones you could just see them as like small sketchbook covers can't you or needle needle books that kind of thing oh beautiful if you want to see examples of more of them being opened there are just have a look at uh, i'll try and i'll try and remember to i'll link to the a couple of previous bizarre openings that i've done the boho bunting and bizarre themselves so you can check i see we've got a bit of blue in there it's not always just you know it's basically a pink pack but I love it. We've got a bit of pink and teal as well. So, yeah, some of my favourites. Oh, I love this. So this is a silk. So pretty. See, I could use even small pieces like this. I could use them in kind of panels to make some kind of a waistcoat or top with. I might have to draw out some little, just sketch out some ideas, I think. This is a lovely piece. So this is a double layer. You've got that dark blue on the back and this then this sort of broderie anglaise on the front. So you can separate them out, use them separately. And I could use this behind, like say that one that came in the green pack. That would look nice with the blue behind it. For instance, just as an example. So, oh. How lovely how sweet to send me this it's really lovely of them I didn't need to do that I just I just rave about how brilliant they are because they're brilliant <laughs> just yeah uh, so yeah and I just thought it's lovely that they that they do the little uh, the little extra gifts just for just for my online friends <laughs> this is lovely got lots of hand stitching on it again and I would probably use this in quite small pieces incorporated into little slow stitching projects. Ooh, it's a different one. Ha! That pattern had me fooled there. I thought it was textured. It's not. It's it's printed on. <laughs> it's quite a lightweight but fairly firm cotton. Really handy. Really good for kawandi quilting, that one. The colours are beautiful. What a lovely mixture this one is. I think I've had this fabric but in a, a pink, where the leaf was pink. Another beautiful piece of silk. Look at that. Oh, 
think I've said the word beautiful a few times. Oh, here's now. This is a piece of like cotton jersey, like, you know, t-shirt type material. Different again. This is nice for making things like uh, dolls and creatures with because you've got that stretch in it. So a doll, that's another one. I keep saying I'm going to make a doll. Maybe I really should do that. So many things, aren't there? Oh, I love this. Oh, gorgeous. What a lovely mixture of colours. I'll lay these all out a little bit in a minute, but um, my desk isn't going to be big enough. I might have to bring the camera up a bit. <laughs> it's nice when you get a few plain pieces, and that this is quite a, quite a strong fabric, this one. Because you do need some of those for backing things with and for yeah, just giving things a bit of stability. And sometimes just a bit of something plain to rest your eye. <laughs> I've had some of this fabric before, very useful because I just love that colour. I love it. It feels like it's got a bit of stretch to it, but I think it's because it's cut on the bias. And then finally, there's this little piece on the bottom. Oh, look. Oh, a. Oh, it's so lovely. I reckon these are hand done again. Beautiful. Look at those. Oh, look at that. Love that. Imagining that as a sketchbook cover or a bag. There are just so many things. I'm going to have to have a real good think about this before I get stuck in. Oh, I mean, I don't think I can. I can't spread this out to show you everything. But you've seen. Um, I think I've given you a fairly good idea of it. So this is just the two packs, and as I say, it's now it's saying fourteen fifty on the front. But on the website, it's still saying 1250. So I don't know, maybe when you buy it online, it's still 1250. Or maybe the prices are due to go up soon, in which case, don't waste any time jumping and getting now. <laughs> but if you do, don't forget to put Arty Farty Annie Treat in at the end so you get a little extra. Oh, well, I'm blown away. I don't know if Joe will watch this or not, but if you are watching this, hang on, let's come back up to. I don't know if Joe will watch this or not, but if you are watching this show, thank you so much. You didn't need to do that. It's really, really sweet of you. I'm very happy to recommend Bazaar just because, just because I love what you do and I love the way you do it and I love all this stuff. <laughs> but it's very, but I really appreciate it and I will make really good use of these. I'll put my thinking cap on for a few days. I think it'd be quite fun to do some projects i might keep these separate and do some projects specifically with these bags so if anybody's getting any ideas what would you like what do you think what what would you make um out of uh, out of all these beautiful pieces i could make three or four different things <laughs> definitely um yeah what what would you like to see me do i mean i could do another slow stitching book or a bobbin or something again just because i've done it before doesn't mean i can't do it again Quite fancy making something I could wear. Quite fancy a bag. Probably done enough journal covers just recently. Yeah, let me know. What would you like to see me do? Okay, uh, that's enough waffling on for me. I'm going to cobble this together now and upload it. And then I'm going to go downstairs and do a bit of stitching because I'm itching to stitch now. <laughs> uh, thanks very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that little peek and I will see you again really soon.